Right, I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, things floating around. Looks like dust, uh, but there was no dust here a minute ago when I was filming. Um, not sure <laughs> what it is. I'm at what is claimed to be one of the oldest public houses in Wales and that has a long and grim history that traces back to that of the Norman Conquest. So where am I? I'm at the Skirid Mountain Inn. Now, the Skirid Inn stands in the shadow of Skirid Mountain. It's said to have been a former courtroom where people who committed serious crimes were handed capital punishment. And it's then claimed that 180 criminals were put to their death by the famous Judge Jeffreys, who would hang them from a beam that is still inside the pub to this day. Now, it's said that these are the stairs that over 180 men walked up to their deaths as they were dropped from a great height only to be hanged. Now, there is a rope still there at this moment in time. I don't think for a moment that it is the original rope, but it is said that the beam at the top is the original beam. Now, I have to be honest, I did forget to film the beam, but come on, it's a piece of wood. What more do you need? However, in the book Eerie Britain, Author M.B. Ford points out that the inn's claim of dating back 900 years is exaggerated. Citing work undertaken by the Glamorgan and Gwent Archaeological Trust, the inn is said to only date back to the mid-late 17th century. But despite this, this hasn't stopped ghost hunters and paranormal investigators from visiting the building to see if they can catch anything unusual. And even programmes like Most Haunted and Paranormal Lockdown have visited the building with claims of hauntings and ghostly goings on. Well, it is TV. Now, one of the ghosts that's said to haunt this inn is that of former landlady, Fanny Price. And me, for one, would love to see a bit of Fanny. Sorry, sometimes I just can't help myself. Anyway, Fanny and her family are said to be buried in this churchyard, which is only a stone's throw away from where she was the landlady. After a short look around, and managed to find her grave. Well, this is a gravestone of Fanny Price herself. It's round about 150, 200 yards away from the Skirid Inn um, in the local church. The stone itself actually says, Fanny, beloved wife of Henry Price. Behind me is Henry's grave, and then there's Alice, who was her son Benjamin's wife. And then I can see another Arthur Price, which looks quite newer. So obviously the Price family have lived around here for a long time. It is strange that people still go on about this lady saying that she haunts the Skirid Inn. And I'm very interested to see whether this is the case. There's no getting away from the fact that the place looks haunted with its misty rolling hills and the old inn decor. But, I wanted to hear the landlord's account of the whole thing. Right, this where we're sat now, and indeed the whole of this floor, was a courtroom till uh, about Cromwell time, about 1640. That is beyond dispute. Uh, the fact that we claim to go back 500 years prior to that is obviously open to debate. And a large debate, to be honest, it's very difficult to prove. But this was a courtroom and a lot of judges uh, were, were dished out here. Uh, were very harsh, uh, including, we believe, the death penalty. Um, a fellow called Squire Arnold in the 1800s was also a bit of a tyrant, an anti-Catholic. And again, people were, were really badly punished in, in these walls. And it's thought that people actually lost their lives. With regards of, uh, we've, we've a female ghost here, which 
uh, tends to show herself. And we believe that to be Fanny Price, uh, a licensee who definitely passed away here. It says so on a headstone of 150 metres away in the churchyard. And she normally shows herself when we make changes or, or we move things around, you know, when, when there's a little bit of a, a change in, in the way the pub is run or, or, as I say, movement of furniture and things. She either comes and gives us a, yeah, that's okay, or she, she, she's not too pleased. I've seen a full figure only once, and it, was, it would be about eight years ago, and it was the figure I would describe as a coachman, uh, maybe with a tri-cornered hat, you know, the Toby Jug type figure. Uh, but uh, the, the amount of time that I, I've, I've felt things um, and atmospheric changes and things out the corner of your eye, movement and so on, countless times. Uh, but other people uh, claim to see Fanny Price, I wouldn't say on a regular basis, but certainly uh, not more than, you know, she would be expected to be uh, visualised three or four times a year minimum. Uh, I do always tend to look over my shoulder as I lock the doors. Um, you almost feel like you're being assisted, but not, not I wouldn't say I'm frightened, but I'm also, my, my senses are heightened and I'm aware that I may not be alone. Ah, oh, it's good to sit down. Well, as you can see, we've now arrived and the place is absolutely great. I mean, regardless of what you read on TripAdvisor, because I had a quick look on TripAdvisor and went through the internet to see what I was coming up against, because like I've said on the way down, I can't do a recce because it was too far away. Now, on TripAdvisor, there was something saying, you know, oh, it's absolutely minging, the food is terrible, the staff are horrible, etc., etc. I'm telling you now, those are fake reviews. From what I've seen today, the place is really clean, the food is absolutely fantastic, and you get a lot of it, and the staff are absolutely amazing. They couldn't do enough for me. So ignore what people are saying or what you read anywhere else. I will tell you the truth. If I thought it was crap, I'd be saying, do not bother, okay? Um, the building itself, yes, very, very old, uh, but like I said, it is clean, so there's no issues with that. Um, it's got three bedrooms upstairs, two big ones, one small one, um, but very, very livable. Uh, four poster beds in each one of them. Uh, downstairs, you've got obviously the bar area and obviously the kitchen, etc., uh, which you'll see when I start walking around. But is it haunted? That's what we're all here for. At the moment, I haven't heard anything at all. Haven't seen anything, haven't felt anything. Um, <clears throat> sorry, frog in my throat. Um, haven't heard anything. So there's nothing jumping out at me at the moment saying, yeah, this place is really haunted. However, I'm going to do what everybody expects me to do. And I'm going to turn the lights out. We're going to go to night vision. And then we're going to have a walk around and see what we can see and see if we can come across any ghosts. I decided to set up the UV cameras in bedrooms one and two because these were the biggest and then the bar itself and left these running. But while setting up, this happened. Right, I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, things floating around. Looks like dust, uh, but there was no dust here a minute ago when I was filming. Um, not sure. <laughs> what it is now it just let's just pause it there now for a second I really did think something strange was going on and I was kind of hoping that I'd finally caught something paranormal which made my heart skip a little bit and I was starting to get excited but I also know that most TV programs and paranormal groups would have used that as evidence and gone on a tangent by telling everyone it was spirits but me, being a bit more logical than that, and not into faking things, also remembered that this could have been the reason. Yeah, it's dust. I weren't sure. Um, I don't know where it's come from. It might be because I've just been using the, the drone um, and it's obviously kicked up something. But for a minute then, I thought we'd caught something. Obviously not. If you really are serious about paranormal investigating, you should question everything and then question it again and don't be influenced by what you see on TV. 
Forget the K2 meters, EMF meters, spirit boxes and MEL meters because none of these have been proven to work and for all these years that they've been on sale that is a fact. Go out there, film everything and go over the film. If you're not sure what you're seeing then put it online and ask. Don't claim from the off that it's a ghost. Anyway, now it's time for night vision. As I stated before, I have placed static UV cameras in a number of rooms which will be identified by the location at the top left hand of the screen and will be in the colour purple. The main camera, which will be mobile, will also be identified by the name at the top left hand corner, but this will be in the colour green. Yeah, there we go. Right. Um, as you can see we're now in night vision uh, I'm gonna have a look around see what I can see I've set up the cameras um, so now is the moment of truth okay on previous videos some people have commented saying I put too much music on and talk too much so in this one I've tried to keep it to a minimum but not so much that you wouldn't know what is going on Normally, I have a torch when I do this, um, but I'm going to try it without. Okay, uh, just by looking on the screen. Anyway, let's go up. I'll stop there for a minute because I was messing around with um, things, right. Let's go into room one. Okay. Oh, shit. Is there anybody here? Fanny Price, are you here? And that's the obviously the other night vision camera that I've got in the room so so you don't get all this with most taunty than that because they all are torches on the heads okay for all those who believe in orbs then check this out this just appears and then disappears but then it's followed by two others now my personal thoughts on this type of evidence is that it's just dust but like I always say that doesn't mean that I'm right and you are wrong because there's no proof either way as far as I'm aware Apparently this bath, um, from what Jeff has said, some lady was having a bath in here and they felt somebody pushing her under the water and they, they seemed to think it was a lady. We've only ever had one uh, malevolent episode and I've been here 13 years and that was a lady was in the bath in room one. Uh, you, you go down to the bathroom in room one and she was laying in the bath and she came down to me very disheveled, wet, just a coat around her, uh, dripping wet and she said that... Um, she's tried to kill me she's tried to kill me she had no reason to suggest it was a, a female except for she knew it was and i think 
95% of women, Els under bath, who saw nothing would say he's tried to kill me or it, it has tried to kill me. And I think the reason we had programs made about that on the television was the fact that she said she, she knew it was a female presence, yet saw nothing. Now it's a bit of a weird room because you actually have to go downstairs, as you can see, that's what I've had to come down. Okay. So it's like a it's like a sunken bathroom almost. Uh, but apparently some lady was in there and felt some hands pushing her under the water um, and she thinks it could have been Fanny Price. Oh that bitch. Oh. Right, so I don't know what to do. I mean, every time I come to these places, people keep saying to me, you've only been there five minutes. Well, no, I've been here all f***ing night, to be honest. Um, every single time I've been at the places all night. So when all these people go on the internet and leave messages like that, I just think, what a t um, Because myself and any other paranormal investigator, um, filmmaker, etc., that do these sort of things, don't just sit there for five minutes. We're actually here all night, all right? So please don't be a t and leave a message like that because you just make yourself look a asshole, okay? So, anyway. Um, oh, I can actually see if I, if I hold it like this. So, that's a bit better, actually. Right. Right, so there's the other camera. Um, let's have a look. Can you see that? Right, that's what the other camera's looking at. Now, obviously, that's in night vision as well. Uh, but that's in, like, infrared, like, purple. Okay. Now, it's actually a lot better if I do it like this because I can actually see where I'm walking. That's miles better. Only thing is, I can't f***ing see what I'm pointing at. So, is there anybody here? No, I'm not getting anything, but remember, we have got a second camera in the room, okay? I might have missed something and we'll catch something later on because sometimes that's what happens. Um, although I can never really prove, sorry, let's turn it around again. I can never really prove that it is something haunted. I think the only thing that we have, well, that I have caught, that people have thought, oh, what the hell's that? Denby Mental Asylum, where there was a black figure that just peered out of nowhere um, and went up. So if you haven't seen that, you need to go and have a watch of it. However, that is about the only thing. Um, the other thing that I did capture, uh, we ended up debunking in the end, so that wasn't anything, which I, at the time I thought, oh, I've got something else here. Um, but other than that, I haven't really seen anything at all. Okay, but let's, uh, let's carry on. This is obviously my room, and um, that's the camera we set up earlier on. Nothing going on in here at the moment. Um, don't know whether the other camera's caught anything or not. Um, but what I'm actually going to do, um, just to give my legs a little bit of a rest, um, I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and we're just going to sit here in complete silence to see if anything happens. 
if I can get the camera on the tripod that is which at this moment in time I can't so I can't see what the fuck I'm doing Right, so, got it on the tripod. I'm just going to sit on the bed. And see if anything happens. Okay, so we're going to be really quiet and see if anything happens. Okay, nothing happening. I um, can't hear anything. So let's try the old. Is there anybody here? Um, Fanny Price, if you're here, can you please show yourselves? Or show yourself, I should say. Um, to prove that there is life after death and to prove that you are here. Fanny Price, if you can hear me, I'm here all alone. I don't mean you any harm. So please step forward so that I can see you. And maybe try and engage with you somehow. Is there anybody else here? We've had 180 people um, hanged for crimes um, in this building. If there is anybody here, please step forward. I'm not here to cause you any harm. I'm here just to talk and engage you with you somehow. The equipment that you see in front of you, don't worry about it. Uh, that also won't cause you any harm.
And there you go, nothing. So, what I would do is move to the next room, the small room. Now, I didn't actually put um, a camera in there. Um, I didn't think there'd be any need, to be honest. Um, and I was actually running out of cameras as well. So, now, I'm sure that I put this light out. However, I might be mistaken. I'm actually sure that I did put this light out. Uh, but like I said, I could be mistaken. Um, so we'll basically do the same here. Um, because if I didn't, something else put a light on. It's uh, quite a boring trick. It's not anything really, is it? And it doesn't even prove whether there is a ghost or not. Um, because I can't tell whether I did, I can't remember whether I did put it on or off. I, I actually thought I turned it off, but hey, let's see what we can see. Is there anybody here? Are there any ghosts or spirits? that want to step forward and speak to me. I'm here all alone. I'm not here to harm anybody. I just want to see the existence of if there is life after death. I've been here a long time and I've traveled from a place called Manchester. So if there is somebody here, please do something so that I can at least see or hear. not hearing anything again nothing at all now I do keep getting told that ghosts don't um, perform and maybe you know maybe that's right but to be fair they haven't performed me for me at all anywhere I go um, I keep hearing all these stories about these places that are absolutely amazing and People getting attacked by poltergeists and slapped across the face and thrown across the room, um, etc., etc., and nothing, nothing at all. Which, you know, if you're going to make those claims, then surely, you know, this should be happening. You know, all these other paranormal groups go to these places and all of a sudden they're all hearing things and using spirit boxes and I mean to be honest I hate spirit boxes because all they have is a broken radio all it's doing is going through the frequency of the radio stations and coming across things so if you're using that as evidence well that's up to you but personally I don't think it is evidence um, I just I really don't I don't see it as any evidence whatsoever um, it's just a piece of equipment like I said that's going through the frequencies of the radios uh, really quickly uh, so you're only getting parts of the words because let's face it if there was if these things did work surely you would get more than one word or maybe two words um, and why they're not always in the same voice just thinking out loud while I'm waiting for something to happen again No. Nope. So there we go again. Um, at this moment in time, not hearing anything. So what I'm going to do is head downstairs into the bar. Um, I have set up a camera there as, you, as you've seen. 
Um, so fingers crossed that might have caught something. If not, we might catch something down there. Okay, so let's go. So going to uh, go down to the bar area, see if there's actually anything going on there. Um, still, at this moment in time, haven't heard anything at all. Um, again, the infrared light that you're seeing um, really comes up bright. Let me turn that that way so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Right, so what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to sit down for a little bit. Oops, sorry. I don't know why I'm saying sorry. It's a camera. I don't know. Right. So, um... Fight. Yeah. So I haven't seen anything as yet. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to sit here all nice and quiet, see if we can hear anything or see anything. Um, I've obviously got this night vision camera, and I've also got the other one that's been running um, all night. Um, the amount of batteries I'm going through with these and cards is amazing, to by the way. But, you know, it's all for a good cause, okay? So, I'm going to shut up talking, and we're just going to have a listen. Face it that way for now. So, is there anybody here? Fanny Price, are you here? Or is there anybody that was convicted that's still hanging around? <laughs> Pardon the pun. Um, and would like to come and speak. Don't be afraid of the equipment that I've got that's not here to hurt you. And I'm on my own, I'm not here to hurt you either. I just want to know that there is life after death. Now, all I can hear at the moment is it sounds like the fridge, something like that, uh, which is quite loud. But other than that, nothing.
Now, might as well speak to you for a moment. Um, there was something that I wanted to know. I was on. Um, I was watching Paranormal Truth the other day, and they were doing a live stream. And I asked the question of why, if there is ghosts, why do we never see cavemen? You know, um, or why do we never see some kid doing night trainers or, you know, um, a break dancer in the street who died? I don't know. Uh, why do we never see people like that? It always tends to be somebody from like this 17, 1800s, um, or sometimes Romans, etc. Which, man, it makes it all a bit suspicious for me. It's like, well, why aren't we seeing these people? Um, surely, I mean, even when you go into hospital, why are you seeing ghosts all over the place in hospital? Because that's where a lot of people die. Yeah. Um, again, graveyards, why are you seeing ghosts just walking around graveyards? Because they're all buried there. Um, I, just, I just find it all very odd. Um, we, people keep saying they keep seeing these ghosts and I'm not sure if they had ghosts I'm not sure of the, if it's not something else that we're actually seeing can't put my finger on what it is um, I mean there's things like shadow people out there and you know I would have thought or I do think that those I believe in those more than I do ghosts to be fair um, only because I've seen things when I was younger um, and again when I was a bit older as well uh, but as far as ghosts go, why why are we not seeing cavemen, etc.? And why are we also seeing if it's all to do with living beings, you know, our soul going up to heaven, etc., or our soul being trapped on earth, I should say? Um, why are we people going on about ghost trains and ghost cars and ghost aeroplanes? Surely not, surely not, because they don't have a soul; they're just a piece of metal. Okay, um, these are the things I always think about, you know, maybe I'm a bit different to everybody else. See, the, the other question I, I was asking was if, for instance, most haunted go to a, a prison that's previously been full of rapists, etc. And all of a sudden, Yvette walks in, how come she's not being gangbanged over a table or something by a load of rapists? Because the rapists at the end of the day. Okay, I just find it all really strange. But anyway, that's how my mind works. That's how we roll. Let's carry on. So Nothing. I'm not hearing anything whatsoever. Now that said, people are going to say, oh, you should have been there for this time. You know, you spent, only spent a couple of minutes. No, I've been here all day and all night. And I've been looking and listening, etc., etc. Um, and there's nothing. You know, if I would have filmed something, yeah, I'd have showed it you. Uh, but I haven't. I don't come all this way just to film for five minutes, believe it or not. Okay? Well, there you go. I've given it a right good go. A right good go. Um, I've given it a good go. And nothing. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people say I'm kryptonite to ghosts. Maybe you're right, maybe you're right. Uh, but again, nothing again. However... If I hear something else through the night, I'll let you know, but there's nothing happening at this moment in time, unfortunately. So there you go. I hired out the whole of the skewered in in order to get uninterrupted access to the full location. But as much as I tried, I really couldn't get any activity from what I could see in the night. But saying that, there is the question about the light in the small bedroom, which I was pretty damn sure that I'd switched off. Plus, if you believe in the orb theory, there seemed to be a lot of things flying around that night. Now, the Skirid certainly is a great place to visit, just for the whole experience and staying in a really, really old building, chatting to some lovely people and enjoying some really nice food. But is it haunted? 
Well, for me, that has to be a no, but that doesn't mean that it isn't, because there's plenty of other people that would say different. So I suppose you would have to go and visit for yourself to see what you can find. So, thanks for watching Curiosity, and remember, do something that scares you.